Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and we have some pretty crazy news coming from Disneyland as well as Walt Disney World. There are new rules being introduced as of May 1st and they will affect your park going experience heavily if you are involved in some of these things. So the first rule change will be that there are no longer stroller wagons admitted into the park. So they will not be allowed at all whatsoever into either Disneyland, Disney's California Adventure, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, and Epcot. And this is just to help with a lot of the park flow that will get quite crowded specifically with Disneyland at the end of May with the opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge because stroller wagons take up a huge amount of space. But moving from stroller wagons over to regular strollers, they can no longer be over 31 inches wide or over 52 inches long. So you will have to have a smaller stroller in comparison to these lengths, but this is just another precaution for growing crowds is my guess, and just to make it a little easier to walk around in the parks. Now another thing I would like to mention is their loose and dry ice policy. And this is actually effective immediately as of today, which is March 28th, that there is no loose or dry ice permitted in the parks. If you bring a cooler or a cooler bag, you will need reusable ice packs if you'd really like to have that icy element to your food or beverages. So no loose ice or dry ice will be permitted inside of the parks. Now here's a big one that will be affecting at least some people that I know personally, and this is the fact that on May 1st, smoking will no longer be available in the parks themselves. So you will no longer be able to smoke and or vape inside of the parks. I know this doesn't apply to everyone as of all of these rules, but this is something that I think needs to be known if you are going to be visiting a Disney park in the near future. To add on to their new smoke-free policy, there will be smoking areas outside of the park as well as near some of the hotels, but there will no longer be designated smoking areas within the park's boundaries. So honestly, I could see a lot of positives from these rule changes, at least from my perspective, especially with the strollers and the stroller wagons, but I know others might find them a little annoying just because they might have kids or they like to smoke or would like to be able to bring in ice for their coolers. But looking at all of these new rules, I can see why Disney is implementing these now before Galaxy's Edge opens and they have a giant influx of new as well as old visitors into the park. But what are your thoughts on these new rules coming to the Disney parks in the US? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know if you're going to be visiting a Disney park in the near future. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next ride.